Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlan. We begin here at 5 with breaking news in the Israel-Hamas war. Today, for the first time, hundreds of foreigners stuck in Gaza for weeks were allowed to cross into Egypt, including some Americans. And now a father, a longtime Chicagoan with family in Elgin, has learned his daughter and her family could soon leave Gaza as soon as tomorrow. CBS 2 Suzanne Mignot joins us now from the newsroom with more on how John Rauschenberger learned his daughter's ordeal could soon be coming to an end. Suzanne. Joe Erica, he received a text message from the U.S. Embassy saying Americans in Gaza will be contacted in groups to learn when they can leave. The news has John Rauschenberger filled with joy and anticipation. We've always been positive and upbeat, but you know, the odds start working against you the longer you're there. So we were just absolutely delighted. John Rauschenberger spoke to us from Florida. His daughter Emily's time in war-torn Gaza is entering a fourth week. Emily, born and raised in Bloomington, Illinois, had been visiting Gaza with her Palestinian-born husband, Mohammed, and their five children. He took the 10 years to become a UK citizen. So he would go back every two, three years and visit family. And his alien mother is 87. And, and they thought, you know, now's the time to go see her one more time. Emily, her husband, and their children call the United Kingdom home. Both are professors in the UK. They had no idea they'd be stuck in Gaza after October 7th. They can't source water anymore. They've got to try to find a vendor on the street to buy it from. Rauschenberger is the brother of former Illinois State Senator Steve Rauschenberger. While John says he owes a debt of gratitude to lawmakers he has connected with, he says his son Joe, seen on the left in this photo with his father, has been at the forefront of getting his sister home, sending out hundreds of emails asking for help. Joe works for a high-tech veteran-owned security firm. He's been awake 22, 23 hours a day. He's got four screens in his office. His veteran-owned owners say, you do what you gotta do. He's found whatever we want. He's done everything that we've needed. So he's really been, you know, the person that's brought the network together and everybody. So uh, uh, Emily better thank her brother, Joe. <laughs> Rauschenberger hopes Emily and her family will leave Gaza through the Rafah crossing into Egypt tomorrow. We're just praying that all Americans get out and, and foreign nationals, as well as the rescue of the hostages that Hamas is holding. But obviously we're very, very focused on my daughter and her family. Rauschenberger says he'll be on the next plane to the UK when he gets word his daughter, her husband, and their children are on the way. He told his grandchildren to make a gift list for Christmas. He plans to have three suitcases filled with presents to celebrate Christmas early with them. In the newsroom, Suzanne Lemonyo, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Suzanne.